Yes, this uh, gesture was mot is motivated by the fact that we have a social responsibility to meet the needs of those around where we work. And that is why, as a union, we thought it wise to extend this social responsibility to the people of Anambra State, where our institutions are located on behalf of the national leadership of us. So it's part of our social responsibility as a union, and it's one of our guiding principles that we must affect the life of those around us and feel what they are feeling and feel the pains they are going through. Uh, the Church of Anambra is where our universities are located in Anambra State. Anambra State, um, College of uh, Anambra uh, University is here in Anambra, and there's great universities also here in Anambra. And so other branches of us in the various states are also doing the same thing. So our members are already going to research. We have medical doctors amongst us. We have pharmacists. We have scientists that are brainstorming over how these issues will be solved once and for all. They are working. And just as I said, when we presented our sanitizer, these sanitizers are also produced in our uh, uh, faculty of pharmacy. So they are doing more. We are working to see how to solve the problem. That's what we believe. If government will listen to the cry of us and invent necessary funds in the university system and have the, the laboratories we needed. We don't need to import any drug into this country. We can research and come up with solutions to this problem. I know some of these problems, you, you think about your environment. So the environment where you are helps you to also come up with solutions that can solve your immediate problem, if given the, uh, the enabling environment to do that. Well, yes, it, uh, well, it could, of course, your, your guess is as good as mine. The strike is not pronounced now because everybody's sitting down at home. And um, when the COVID-19 is over, the strike will, the impact of the strike will fed more. So for now, nobody talks about strike. And even as a union, we allow our members to go to the labs and see how we can solve the problem for now. And then when the COVID-19 case is over, we want to believe that the government will be sensitive enough to listen to us and so that we can discuss now. Because old, our members are owed two more salaries plus now. And so even when our members are asked to sit at home and the whole thing shut off, they are sitting at home without their salaries for two months. They have people that depend on them. They have dependents, they have their children. They have extended family that depend on them. And so I want to believe that government will also be sensitive to the situation we are in so that we can come and dialogue and resolve this matter before the COVID-19 is over. So that maybe when the COVID-19 is over, as we have been talking about also suspending the strike.